Okay, I'll be showing you how to flash ROMs and kernels onto your player using Odin and once you flash your kernel, I'll show you how to use ROM Manager. So first you want to get the kernel and you will go to the XDA developer site, click on forms, search your player, and then find the kernel that fits you. You're probably going to download a tar file first. And then you're going to want to use download Odin as well. And just download the latest, ver latest version. Once you do that, I'll show you right here. Uh, first, I guess I'll show you with this. Turn it off. Just power off. As it's doing that, I'll load Odin. I'm going to right click or unzip Odin and then right click on the shortcut or actual program to run it. And then run it as administrator and then it should pop up and once this turns off I'll show you how to put it in download mode which you probably already know okay what you do is hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time When you get the screen saying download, downloading, you're just going to plug it in after you've already opened Odin or before. I don't think it really matters. Okay, it's just going to stay at that same screen. And I'll show you what it should look like. Okay. So now it sees it's connected and all the good stuff. And then you want to click on PDA for the tour fire, tar file. And then I have this kernel right here I'm going to use. It's the, I forget his name. In trophies, kernel. Uh, this one's just for the 5.0. US version, which is what I have, so it should work. First, you want to install the tar file, and you can use the zip ones. This is so you can have ROM manager, and then once you do that, it also has some other things. So, like you usually charge the battery, it takes quite a while. This one you get to 80% within an hour, so it's not that bad. Okay, and once you do that, you'll click on the file you want to use, open and then start. I believe I already have this on here but I'll just do it anyways to show you. Click start. You want to make sure that auto reboot and reset f dot reset time set clicked and do not click repartition or flash lock or any of the any other ones. And you just click start. And just put it on there. And you're done. And it's going to reset it. So now my device is restarting, and I'll have this ROM or kernel that I just put on there. Now I'll show you how to put a ROM on, which is about the same way, except you have a different file. So once again, you're going to click on PDA, find what you're looking for, the ROM you have. And these are builds from Let's see this name. Yeah, I don't want you. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there you go. I really like this ROM. It's the one that was original with the let's see. The Chinese ROM, and he has configured it to work with the US, which I enjoy this ROM because well, I'll post another video of me using it, all the things that you can do with it. But you download it from, he has them on 4Shared, and you just click on the link, it'll download the latest one, which is R4. 
and that's about it. And I'll show you how to do that. It's right here. And you're going to put it in download mode again and everything. Click on this, open, and then you click start. Make sure just everything's the same. Download mode, none of these are, none of the repartitions or anything are clicked. And it's in the PDA file or selector, whatever. And you click start, but I already have this ROM loaded. I don't feel like doing it. And I'll also show you how to unbrick your device in some other video I'll post up later. But it's really simple to put your own ROM or someone else's ROM, but to put on your device. And I will show you ROM Manager in another video too. Thank you for watching and hope it works for you.